The United States Deputy Secretary of State for Management and Resources, Richard Verma, arrived in Sri Lanka yesterday for a two-day official visit. During his visit, Richard Verma, who called on President Ranil Vikramasinghe at his office, commended efforts taken by the Sri Lankan government to turn the crisis hit Sri Lankan economy around. President Vikramasinghe outlined the progress of the debt restructuring process, along with several key economic reform measures, including the Agriculture Modernization Program. We are now completing our discussions with the IMF and then we will come to the agreement with the official creditors committee. Thereafter, to deal with the international sovereign bonds. With this, I hope also to get the conditions that we agreed to and put into parliament in law. So no one can go out of it, can't move out unless they are willing to go to parliament and move a amendment for a repeal. So this way we are to ensure that Sri Lanka doesn't go back into that situation. We were very pleased to see parliament pass legislation like the Anti-Corruption Act to support implementation of the IMF program. We think that's very important. Very, very grateful for your leadership in participating in the Operation Prosperity Guardian, the efforts in the, in the Red Sea. This afternoon, we're going to be going out to announce, subject to our approval of Congress, a fourth Coast Guard cutter that we will transfer that I think will give even more capabilities. And just, again, excited about the prospect of contributing to further ties, whether on maritime domain awareness, whether on counterterrorism training, on whatever area we can do together to strengthen the peace and security and stability of the Indian Ocean region. We are committed to freedom of navigation in the Indian Ocean. We can't allow anyone to be blocking or in any way obstructing the passage of ships in the Indian Ocean, more particularly places like the Gulf or the Red Sea. Red Sea is the most important to us. So when it was announced, I thought, no, Sri Lanka should at least say, as far as Yemen is concerned, we have backed the stand of the Saudi government. So for us also, they are terrorist force. We certainly said we can't deal with Houthis at all. I think you've heard some of the concerns, both from Ambassador Power and others, about the Online Safety Act. But I know a lot of stakeholders in tech and civil society have offered some amendments on how to implement, and I just ask for your consideration of those viewpoints as you go forward. We have met with the Asian Internet Coalition, and they've given a number of amendments, which they agreed to with the minister. Minister, in fact, got cabinet permission, introduced the amendments at the committee stage. But then the Attorney General said these are far-reaching amendments, which was not put before the court, and that therefore we should not have put forward the amendments, because the Constitution also says that any amendments you bring can't really differ from the judgment or determination that has been given by the Supreme Court and it has to be in conformity with. So we've asked him to bring now a new amendment act and the details have been given. So let them do the draft. Then there'll be a committee of three, four hours to go into it. They can also talk with the Internet Coalition. After that, we'll present it to Cabinet. Meanwhile, U.S. Deputy Secretary of State for Management and Resources Richard Verma called on Foreign Minister Ali Sabri at his ministry premises in Colombo. Sri Lankan Foreign Minister Sabri briefed the U.S. Deputy Secretary of State on Sri Lanka's priorities as chair of the Indian Ocean Rim Association and the opportunities to foster collaboration in the blue economy and maritime security in the region to promote freedom of navigation for all and facilitate trade and commerce. According to the Foreign Minister, also Prime Deputy Secretary of State R. Verma of the government's efforts to further strengthen governance, democracy and the rule of law, as well as efforts to combat corruption. While noting the encouraging progress in Sri Lanka following the economic downturn in the last two years, U.S. Deputy Secretary of State Richard Verma assured continuous U.S. assistance to the country towards achieving economic prosperity.